So today is a very auspicious day that we are announcing the fourth interdepartment badminton tournament in Kohima. So we started this right after the severe COVID pandemic in the year 2021. So this year we are going for the fourth edition and the venue will remain the same that is Nagaland Day Stadium Assembly Stadium. And we will have four categories that is men's doubles, women's doubles, mixed doubles, then 50 plus legislators, ex legislators and retirees uh, feature in one category at doubles again. And entry fee will be the same as last year that is 2000 rupees. But the price money per category we have increased a little bit. Last year it was 12,000 for the winner and two, uh, sorry, 15,000 for the winner and uh, 10,000 for the runner up. And this year we have raised it to 20,000 for the winner and 10,000 for the runner up in each category. So the application deadline is the 9th August 2024. And even we are planning to conduct on 16th and 17th of August 2024. So right after the 15th August, 16th and 17th, that is Friday and Saturday, we are planning to conduct this event. And uh, the interested players and departments, they can give the application forms in uh, Okusa Toyota showroom, that is opposite to Hotel Blue Lagoon, or sports inventory, that is opposite the main badminton stadium Kohima, or in uh, room number 518 in the Directorate of School Education. And as same as last year, for players who have represented the state, national or international level tournaments, so it will be mand mandatory for them to uh, partner with an amateur player. And the players should be from the departments and they should be posted in Kohima district in whatever department they are in. And if the entry for any category is less than 7, then we will have to cancel that category. In case of any dispute, of course, the organizing committee's decision will be final. And we will request all the players to wear the team jerseys, just uh, feature the department's name should be printed or pasted in their jerseys. And we also encourage the players in the department to keep utmost discipline because this is an inter-department tournament where we are all government servants and at the end of the day we have to show, we have to be a role model to the other public that we can uh, be very disciplined and we can participate in tournaments and we can have that convergence and coordination among the departments. That is the whole purpose and I am sure the departments and the players will keep up to the expectations and we will be able to successfully conduct even the fourth in the inter-department badminton tournament like we have conducted the last three editions. We will try to uh, increase the participation. I think last year it was a bit less maybe. But uh, I think one second edition we had more than 100 teams participating. So we are looking at uh, that kind of a participation. So we will give as much publicity as possible in the departments and in the interested players. And we want to have good participation even in all categories, even including the women's tables and mixed tables also. So usually what happens is that men's tables there is a lot of participation and other categories a bit less. So we will uh, ensure that there is good participation even in the other categories. So new initiative in the sense, uh, of course, the fourth category that is for the legislators and 50 plus and the retirees, it was there in the last year as well. So that is not a new addition. Of course, uh, what we will do is that uh, we'll, we want to promote the game of badminton also in the, in the state of Nakalan along with the tournament and the departmental coordination what we are doing. So last years we have been supporting the interested players, young players with whatever support we can. Uh, no, so we stick to the very uh, senior uh, professional players part uh, partnering with an amateur player because we are not looking at a state level or international level tournament. We are actually, uh, we want to have good participation and good competition among departments. So I think the guidelines remain the same like last year. So last three editions we have we have been able to successfully conduct and fourth edition also we are we will ensure good participation and we are expecting that there will be a lot of enthusiasm and participation from the department. So if this enthusiasm and participation are going on then why not? Why not we will have further editions also in the future. Because Kohima it was absent till the year 2020. There was no interdepartmental badminton tournament in Kohima district as such till that time. So we were able to introduce in 2021 and we are able to continue in every year till now. So we are sure ki it will continue in the coming years as well. Like any other tournament or event, we are actually learning in every year, right? So uh, of course, uh, in first edition, we just uh, just catching up and we are just looking at how we can improve the participation and everything. And second edition, we had better participations. Likewise, third edition also. So uh, this this time also the first and foremost thing is that we have to ensure like good discipline there are no un unnecessary events people are not uh, drinking and smoking and roaming uh, loitering uh, here and there so 
all this discipline we are actually giving utmost importance and we also give importance to the sportsmanship there, there will be referees and the players so their decisions everything has to be respected and people should play good display of game at the same time be responsible uh, players as well so we are sure ki they will live to our expectations so we will be very stringent and strict about that So you had mentioned that last year the participation was not up to the mark. Why do you think is the reason? Uh, maybe I think I don't know, but because of the weather also, and we had a planning towards the last time. So that's why we this year we thought we'll uh, have this planning at least one month before. So today is July twelfth, and we are looking at August sixteen and seventeen. So we have good enough time for maximum publicity and uh, ensuring good participation. So usually uh, I was also posted in other districts before. So. Almost all the districts have these inter-departmental participation uh, to badminton tournaments in place, but of course it will change from district to district. Some district have good number of department, but some doesn't have that much. Mon is a very good example. Mon, when I was posted there, Mon has this officers club, so they used to have these uh, inter-departmental tournaments. Not only for badminton, they used to have tournaments for table tennis, caroms, and all those things. So it was a very good event, but not some other districts not up to the mark. But Kohima, being the capital and many departments, state level departments, district level offices here, but there was no uh, coordination as such in Kohima. Means no one took the initiative of having this kind this kind of an event. So that is why we thought we should come up with something like this in two thousand twenty one. So we went ahead, and so far it has been successful. So we are sure that whatever we are doing, it it is inspiring the other districts, and whatever the other districts are doing, that inspires us as well. So state level, the NPA has an open tournament and inter district tournament as well, but not in the level of inter departmental. And state level, we'll try, but it's again difficult because people are posted in different districts. They are also doing their job. So even while conducting this tournament, we make sure that the office hours are not affected. That's why we are going for Friday and Saturday. So getting people from other districts to Kohima just to play inter departmental tournament might be a bit difficult, but we'll explore the possibilities later. No, we'll give them the prize money and. Uh, All certificates and everything, but recognition in the sense. Uh, uh, see, first of all, we are not professional players as such. We are just uh, we just play for our health or for time pass or whatever it is. But the purpose of the inter department tournament is just to create that uh, camaraderie among the departments and the players. So that is ensured by these kind of tournaments. Of course, they will get the prize money, but at the same time, we want to just want to promote the game of badminton and we want to help those upcoming and. Uh, budding players as well, but otherwise no other recognition as such. Yeah, in my opinion, yes. So what happens is that of course when you meet in an informal setup, not in the office, and uh, we talk to them, it's not like twenty four seven you are playing, right? You play your game, and in between you have a chance to interact with the other departments and other officers and other staff as well. So that kind of a camaraderie even carries forward to the officers when they engage in some kind of an official engagement as well, because people know each other. Getting to know each other is very very important. So we are creating a platform for that opportunity.